Включи секундомер. Start the timer, Steve. And uh, we can confirm uh, from telemetry on the ground uh, that the Soyuz TMA-12M spacecraft has undocked from the International Space Station at 6.01 p.m. Central Time over Eastern Mongolia. At 4.30, we uh, will expect 15 seconds of inaudible. Copy. Sasha, could you please continue reporting? Because we don't receive the image, and uh, you know we need your report. Okay, copy. Expedition 40 now officially in the books. Expedition 41 officially has begun aboard the International Space Station. And the headlight is on. One minute. That's good. And uh, telemetry on the ground and reports from the crew aboard the uh, descent module of the Soyuz spacecraft indicate uh, that the undocking was normal, no problems, un and uh, the Soyuz is currently uh, separating from the station with a separation maneuver scheduled a little over a minute from now. That'll be a 15-second firing of the Soyuz engines. Everything is nominal, Moscow. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, External cameras on the International Space Station zooming in. Uh, there's a, uh, there it is. There's your Soyuz TMA-12M spacecraft with uh, Steve Swanson, Oleg Artemiev, and Soyuz Commander Alexander Skvortsov on board, flying free of the International Space Station. Good luck. The undocking uh, occurring about... Uh, and our regards to the guys. Okay, I will do that, of course. Uh, yeah, it will be the lucky time. <laughs> you know, uh, we were doing our best so that you feel that you're lucky when we are gone. Moscow Station on Space Ground 2. Maxim is calling. Go ahead, Maxim. Could you please repeat uh, you know, the information that you have for me? Uh, once again, uh, you can move the uh, remaining crew members on board the station uh, on the third talking uh, panel, so about some housekeeping issues on board the station with Russian flight controllers as we continue to watch so, the okay. uh, Soyuz Copy spacecraft we'll with the three departing Expedition 40 crew members on board. Undocking having occurred about 21 minutes ago over eastern Mongolia. Yes. Yeah, so uh, it, it will be necessary for the com this vehicle. Okay, so the International Space Station and the Soyuz, uh, with the Soyuz uh, opening up and ever increasing distance uh, between itself and the station flying from northwest uh, to southeast at an altitude of 260 miles above the Earth, well uh, over the North Pacific, and uh, just to the east of the Hawaiian Islands. We're about uh, two hours and seven minutes away from the deorbit burn, the engine firing for four minutes and 40 seconds. That will occur at uh, 8.30 and 36 seconds p.m. Central Time uh, to slow the Soyuz down by 128 meters per second and enable it to uh, drop out of orbit uh, for its descent back to the Earth's atmosphere. Impacting space to ground two traffic, correct? That's right, space to ground one is not tight. Okay, so then, the MRM2 can be closed. That's my next activity on the timeline. Yes, you're go to close MRM2 pressure acquisition valve. Copy, I'll put that in work. Thanks, Max. We'll stand by for your call that that's complete. Thank you. 
soaring over the tranquil Pacific Ocean, the Soyuz TMA-12M spacecraft uh, continuing its separation from the International Space Station with uh, its three crew members on board in the center section, the descent module. Soyuz Commander Alexander Skvortsov in the center seat. Oleg Artemiev, his board engineer, in the left seat, and NASA flight engineer Steve Swanson, who served as the Expedition 40 commander in the right seat. Their uh, sights set on a landing site in south-central Kazakhstan, about 90 miles to the southeast of the remote town of Jezkazgan, where they are expected to touch down at uh, 9.23 p.m. Central Time, which will be 8.23 a.m. on Thursday morning at the landing site about an hour and a half after local sunrise. The uh, sunlight uh, glinting off the solar arrays of the Soyuz spacecraft uh, continuing uh, to separate uh, from the International Space Station at an ever-increasing rate. Uh, 
it's, it's, it's heading for a uh, departure point uh, some 12 kilometers away from the station for its deorbit burn that uh, is expected two hours from now. It's uh, not important. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next picture. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, now a three-man crew occupies the International Space Station. European Space Agency flight engineer Alexander Gerst in the foreground. Uh, behind him is uh, the new station commander, Max, Max Sarayev, uh, NASA's Reed Wiseman also on board. The Expedition 41 crew up and running uh, for the next uh, two weeks as a three-man crew uh, before um, they are joined uh, by NASA flight engineer Barry Wilmore, uh, Soyuz commander Alexander Samakutiaev, and uh, Russian cosmonaut Elena Sorova, who will launch on September 26th from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, uh, Sorova to become only the fourth Russian woman to fly in space. Wiseman joining Gerst there in the Destiny Laboratory as they uh, are going to uh, participate in the daily planning conference, uh, the evening conference that uh, has uh, that is always scheduled every day that a crew is on board the station to recap the day's events and take a quick look at the activities that lie ahead. This three-man crew will uh, spend the entire day Thursday in downtime. In fact, uh, most of the day they'll be asleep. Uh, they are expected uh, not to participate in any activities. Uh, it strictly will be at their call as to when they uh, wish to talk uh, to flight controllers here on Earth. So we'll need you to be hands off of SSCs 4, 7, 8, and 9. Moscow Station, we're ready for our portion of the evening DPC. Great. Let's do it. Okay, let's. The pressure on board is 748. As usual, all systems are nominal, no change in status. The timeline activities are still in work. So far, we have completed everything that was planned up until now. And I understand we already verified Form 14, correct? We did, so there's no need to do it again. Excellent. For the ninth, the radiograms that we received are Form 14 for the 12th, Form 14 for the 11th, 66, 16. Form 23, pre uh, 24 preliminary for two days out, and I think that's it. That's right. And did you do anything from the task list today? Yeah. This position is okay. Yeah, yeah. One okay. second. Yeah. For task list, I don't think. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm in. It's okay. Uh, oh, uh, today um, was the best day to do task list. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I agree. But I still had to ask, and I just wanted to see if all of the window covers have been closed. Yes, window number nine is closed completely, and all the other ones are also closed. The ones that we had to close, that is. That's right, Max. Also, we still have a Stochnik experiment on the docket today. And then uh, reconfiguring COM back to nominal configuration. 
Yes. I am aware of this. So I guess until inaudible 45. No questions for you, Moscow. I think I'm good with the plan and I know what to do. Excellent. So let's close out the evening DPC. Very good. And I'll be here to answer your calls. And also, Max, uh, please power off input two. I already did that. I already turned off input two, but I actually wanted to power cycle it again with your go because I didn't really like the way it turned off the first time. So right now it shows that it's in powered off state. So then it started blinking. Then the image was uh, sort of choppy. Then 15 or 20 minutes later, I went over there, and it showed that it's still powered, but uh, the screen was black. Uh, but I know it's not like a computer. It can't go into power saving or sleep mode. So... I am not sure what's going on, so with your go, I'd like to power cycle it again. This is Mission Control Houston, continuing to watch uh, the Soyuz TMA-12M spacecraft uh, move away from the International Space Station following uh, its on-time undocking that occurred about uh, 35 minutes ago at uh, 6.01 p.m. Central Time as uh, the Soyuz and the International Space Station flew uh, 260 miles over eastern Mongolia. Uh, the Soyuz uh, that you see here uh, growing smaller and smaller with each passing minute will move to a distance of about 12 kilometers away from this station for uh, a four-minute 40-second engine firing, the deorbit burn, that is uh, scheduled one hour, 54 minutes from now at 8.30 and 36 seconds p.m. Central Time to begin uh, the ride back home for Steve Swanson, Alexander Skvortsov, and Oleg Artemiev. At about uh, the time of the deorbit burn, uh, the first in the series of Russian Mi-8 helicopters will begin uh, to uh, take flight from uh, the airport in Jezkazgan, uh, where the uh, landing operations are being staged this evening. Yellow stripe. It will be uh, just after sunrise uh, in Kazakhstan on Thursday morning when those helicopters are deployed in sequential fashion from Jezkazgan for about a 40-minute flight to cover about 90 statute miles to the southeast to the expected landing site for the Soyuz uh, spacecraft and its three occupants. The uh, International Space Station and the Soyuz will be moving into an orbital sunset about uh, 12 minutes or so from now. This uh, orbit of the Earth will carry both spacecraft uh, over uh, Chile and uh, southern Argentina on this particular orbit of the Earth and then out over the South Atlantic.
Да, на этом планшетником. Да, да нет, не планшет, планшетник тут ни при чем вообще. Он сапанул с этим, э, шлангом, по-моему. The uh, Soyuz flight control team, the Russian uh, Soyuz flight control team at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov outside of Moscow. Uh, you're looking at a view of their control room uh, from a balcony camera overlooking that room. Uh, they are uh, in the process of updating all of their ballistic data that they'll be uh, relaying up to the crew in the Soyuz spacecraft a short time from now. Nominal Moscow. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, external cameras on the International Space Station zooming in. Uh, there's a, uh, there it is. There's your Soyuz TMA-12M spacecraft with uh, Steve Swanson, Oleg Artemiev, and Soyuz Commander Alexander Skvortsov on board, flying free of the International Space Station. Good luck. The undocking uh, occurring about... Uh, and our regards to the guys. Okay, I will do that, of course. Uh, yeah, it will be the lucky time. <laughs> That's the timer, Steve. And uh, we can confirm uh, from telemetry on the ground uh, that the Soyuz TMA-12M spacecraft has undocked from the International Space Station at 6.01 p.m. Central Time over Eastern Mongolia. At 4.30, we uh, will expect 15 seconds of inaudible. Copy. Sasha, could you please continue reporting? Because we don't receive the image, and uh, you know we need your report. Okay, copy. Expedition 40 now officially in the books. Expedition 41. You know, uh, we were doing our best so that you feel that you are lucky when we are gone. Moscow station on space ground two. Maxim is calling. Go ahead, Maxim. Uh, Could you please repeat uh, you know, the information that you have for me? Uh, once again, uh, you can move the uh, remaining crew members on board the station uh, line on the third talking uh, panel. So about some housekeeping issues on board the station with Russian flight controllers as we continue to watch so, the okay. uh, Soyuz Copy spacecraft we'll with the three departing Expedition 40 crew members on board. Eight Undocking having occurred about 21 minutes ago over eastern Mongolia. Yes. Officially has begun aboard the International Space Station. And the headlight is on. One minute. That's good. And 
uh, telemetry on the ground and reports from the crew aboard the uh, descent module of the Soyuz spacecraft indicate uh, that the undocking was normal, no problems, un and uh, the Soyuz is currently uh, separating from the station with a separation maneuver scheduled a little over a minute from now. That'll be a 15-second firing of the Soyuz engines. Everything is, uh, it, it will be necessary for the com Okay, so the International Space Station and the Soyuz, uh, with the Soyuz uh, opening up an ever-increasing distance uh, between itself and the station, flying from northwest uh, to southeast at an altitude of 260 miles above the Earth, well uh, over the North Pacific, and uh, just to the east of the Hawaiian Islands. We're about uh, two hours and seven minutes away from the deorbit burn, the engine firing for four minutes and 40 seconds. That will occur at uh, 8.30 and 36 seconds p.m. Central Time uh, to slow the...